I am the biggest thorn in the county side. So consequently, the county wants me out of business. And so Richard Fine was disbarred and thrown into jail. But that hasn't stopped him from fighting back. I was disbarred for having brought frivolous lawsuits against the judges regarding the payments that they received from the counties. The reason for the disbarment had nothing to do with anything that was involved in the disbarment. It had nothing to do with any of the charges. There were 22 charges in the disbarment. Not one charge stated that I filed a frivolous lawsuit against the judges because of the payments that they were receiving. It was a retaliation by the judges because of the fact that I had exposed the judges and litigated against them for having taken the illegal payments from the counties, which effectively were bribes under the case law in California and also under the federal case law. They finally were placed in the position that they couldn't lie anymore. Dr. Fine is very clear that he is accusing the judges of accepting bribes. These payments are bribes because the county of Los Angeles was somebody that was appearing in front of these judges. According to Dr. Fine, the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeal in California is a lost cause. He has done everything in his power to shame them into following the rule of law. Their integrity is gone. So if they want to do anything to try and reestablish themselves, I would suggest to them respectfully that they may want to start following the rule of law. Given the admission which has come out, which we now know that the state bar disbarment was a fraud, it is now a question of what these judges who now know that the disbarment is void are going to do. Do they stay outside of the law and keep violating the law and keep being corrupt? Or do they follow the law, obey the code of judicial ethics, obey the law, and do the right thing? You can watch this program in its entirety on our website, Full Disclosure will continue to bring you the news behind the news.